Why is Sid Kagano so strong? The Ammunition Shadow Season 2 from Enemy Stats. Go ahead and subscribe to his videos. Sorry, like his video and subscribe to his channel. Pre-Isekai. Before he got isekai Sid was already a military level fighter. That's right. He was fighting fucking military veterans with crowbars. Pre-Isekai. In the real world, he practiced pretty much every form of martial arts to become stronger. And then we get isekai Starter pack. Sid was reincarnated with his full consciousness. And even as a baby, he could immediately sense magic. Oh, wait. Did you guys see that there? We saw Baldi for a second. Never see. If I see an opportunity to call out Baldi, I'll always do it. Baldi. Now, genetics. He reincarnated as a member of a notable noble family. With a long history. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. With the long history of raising talented Dark Knights. Are you telling me? The fucking Baldi Daddy was actually a good Dark Knight too? I refuse to believe that. This means that Sid is born with fighting a um, uh Sid is born with fighting and magical English? Fighting magical abilities that are above average. He's basically just a little bit gifted because the family was inherently training Dark Knights throughout all their lineage. Now we got stylish bandit slayer. Training. Sid began training and developing his magic in early childhood. Just slaying fucking bandits going around. Saving a lot of girls, actually. Fucking Yukime. Fucking Rose. Don't forget all the Shadow Garden girls. Wait. Baldi married into the family? Okay. <laughs> now, things are making more sense than why they shouldn't have dad a little bit more now. If he's not, you know, the perfect... If he's not the direct, you know, stem of the family and he married into the mom. <laughs> okay, maybe the mom is super OP and Baldi isn't. <laughs> All right, next one. We got the magic control. He used meditation practices he learned in the real world to perfect his control of magic. Is that true? Meditation practices? I didn't know he did shit like that. Then again, how did he have full grasp or intuition of how magic works in this world as soon as he was born. I don't know. Maybe he did, yes? Alright, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Tough body. His body is enhanced by magic and surpasses average human limitations. Okay, I mean, I thought the point of the slime suit is also to like enhance your body on top of that because it's like magic augmented and stuff like that, but okay. Ability boost? He can use magic to give temporary boost to his agility, strength, and endurance. Yeah, straight up. That's what the magic does. And the slime suit also like just makes you stronger too, right? OP magic. He can transfer his magic. Wait, wait. He can transfer his magic to other people carrying Curse of Diablos. So that's like the possession, the curing of the Curse of Diablos is like mana overload, right? That's the, that's the possession. So you like... Make sure the body can handle the amount of mana being output, so then it'll turn into like blobs. And what else? Increasing the receiver's magic power. Yeah, this is like directly true. Like, Vic like aside from the Shadow Garden girls, you have um, what's her name? Yeah, Victoria, and you have Rose, who are also directly given powers. Where said you know this is like special compared to let's say six six four and six six five. Okay, you got healer. This is new. I mean, this isn't new, but it's obviously a little bit newer in season two of Recovery Atomic. Sid can instantly heal severe injuries for himself and others. Like, how does that work? I mean, you don't really have to ask, but... He can just have only kind of just... He, he just, like, fucking... He just heal. His self-regen, like, he, he gets cut, like, he just fucking heals up immediately. Any fucking body parts. I mean, we did see himself fucking pretty much, like, self-resurrect himself in the terrorist arc, so yeah. What else can he do? Can he like, um, what's the word, like resurrect people? If people are dead, just bring them back to life? That might be a little bit too much, right? Then again, he, that's pretty much what he, no, he like restarted his own heart. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Poison immunity. Sid is immune to almost every type of poison. Interesting fact. In, in case we ever encounter like a poison enemy, we can just be like, oh, he's just resistant. Organ relocation. That's right. He can shift his organs around, right? To avoid the vital damage to it. What is this? Unnerfable. No, he's just coming up with these terms. With his absolute control of magic, 
He can bypass the effects of anti-magic devices. No, this is actually true. That was the, that's directly from um, season one, right? During the terrorist arc, there was the artifact that like um, put a, a veil around the school to prevent any magic from being used, but he was still able to use a bit of it, right? So I guess, I mean, he got nerfed, but he, I mean, he was the only one that was still able to use magic. Next one, the one that we all know. I am atomic. Sid's main power comes from his nuclear magic, which is the pinnacle of his magical expertise. Now, is this actually called nuclear magic? Sometimes I don't know if these terms are actual terminologies from the manga or the light novel, or if anime stats are just making shit up. Either way, it's still cool. Yeah, he did that at the sanctuary too, right? And the best thing about, you know, those moments of the sanctuary or the school, you know, with the anti-magic stuff, is the fact that girls' slime suits... <laughs> The slime suits slowly become undone more and more. <laughs> Nuclear magic is a made-up word, made-up term. Okay. I mean, look, he's, he's still going with it. Did you see this? Nuclear magic works by compressing magic into a single point and releasing it at once. I think the mechanics of how I am atomic, you know, that kind of summarizes it. But does nuclear magic exist or not? Eh, probably not. Unique fighter. Sid has his own unique fighting style. Wow, very descriptive, thank you. I think that his own style is very basic and rudimentary and fundamental because he puts an emphasis on, you know, min-maxing, no wasted movements. Every stroke, that's right, every stroke of his Excalibur should be intentional. People might think it's boring, but doing this makes it very efficient. But he also has a lot of different styles. He has the crowbar styles too, right? He And he sometimes he just fucking fights with martial arts too. Now that I think about it, he's actually very versatile and he's well, he's well, I mean, that's what the whole point of his training was to learn every type of martial arts and try to understand how everything works. He also just like plays with his opponents to have like a conversation or a dialogue to see if they're capable of entertaining him. And if not, he just ends them quickly. Refined style. He creates it by combining combat knowledge from his old world and the new one. I don't know what this means here. Refined style. He created it by combining combat knowledge from his old world and new one. So I guess his like refined fighting style is basically built upon the foundations from his old world of whatever swordsmanship and different martial arts that he learned. Efficient. His fighting style minimizes movement and magic usage to efficiently win fights. Yeah, some of these descriptions are now getting very, I don't know, generic. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, Sid is strong because he's strong. But I get what he's trying to say. Good counter. Oh, yeah. The counter is actually very valid, right? The counter here, since other magic users don't use defensive techniques and simply rely on their speed. Well, the counter is like, he has like a conversation with his opponents. And if it's like, and while doing that, he sifts out specific moments where he can use a counter to end the fight. Using his style, Sid can effortlessly parry their attacks and counter them back. This is actually directly from the light novel content that any news has also mentioned. Okay, the slime suit. His slime weapons possesses 99% magic conductivity, making his magic use extremely efficient. That's right. We had to sacrifice all of Rimuru's descendants. We tortured and experimented on these slimes to the points Ada was able to then go on top of it and make a suit out of it. Now, it just does everything. It's fucking fan service. It's OP weapons. It's great. And finally, OP fighter. <laughs> this last category is OP fighter. <laughs> OP fighter. This makes Sid an excellent fighter. Pro what does that mean? What? <laughs> OP fighter. This makes Sid an excellent fighter. Prolonged battles. Sid is OP because he's OP. That's right. You heard it heard, you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> Another pretty entertaining video from Anime Stats. And guys, again, please don't take those videos too seriously. I'm sure he's having fun. There's some reasoning involved. But whenever we're doing these power metrics, sometimes he might be pulling out of his ass. But please be respectful. Like his content if you didn't subscribe to his channel. I personally enjoy these a lot.